I like watching birds. They fly and soar on the currents of life. They sing of happiness. They never worry about their feathers, nor complain about food and water. When we start in the nest, everything seems okay. But experiences and fear can throw our life off course. I flew from my fears. I flew to a place I didn't know. I began to worry. I worried so much, I became sick. I had sick thoughts, sick feelings, and sick behavior. I didn't know who I was anymore. I searched for myself. I tried to find myself in other people, but that only made me more anxious. I tried to find myself in unhealthy drinks, eating or not eating foods, but that only made me more anxious. I tried to find myself in working really hard, but that only made me more anxious. I tried to find myself in music, but that only made me more anxious. I tried to find myself in too much exercise, but that only made me more anxious. I tried to find myself in fashion and a new look, but that only made me more anxious. I tried to find myself in art, but that only made me more anxious. I got angry at other people and I pulled their feathers out. I got angry at myself and I pulled my feathers out. I couldn't fly anymore, so I hid in the dark for a very long time. I sat and stared at me. In the dark, I saw anxiety. I said hello to anxiousness. I sat and said hello to my fears. But in time, I got to know my fears with the help of the Dr. Bird, who introduced me to the Exploration Bird. I started to understand myself. My feathers started to grow back. Exploring exercise started to help. Exploring music started to help. Exploring art started to help. My family helped. My friends helped. Sleep and good food helped. But most of all, finding my higher power saw me find myself.
Now I fly with my anxious self inside of me. I'm not looking for it anymore and that's okay because I know just where it is and I'm in control of it most of the time. Sometimes it comes out to fly and that's okay also. But most of the time I'm happy singing and flying on the recovery road. <laughs>